Sat Satellite Station in Tel El Mir TV. Let's start with the headlines. The Federation of the Monastic Orders in Jordan holds its first meeting at Terra Santa College. Father Marcos Merji, new patron of Hamoud Church. Archmand Wright Silwan Hanuna, new spiritual head of Ajlun Governorate. We also have Engineer Azam Ni'mish Wehat as chairman of the Board of Trustees of the American University in Madaba. Welcome back. Within the framework of his weekly Christian teachings and as he habitually does every week, His Holiness Pope Francis welcomed the believers coming from all over the world to the Vatican, where His Holiness contemplated and said, Most Holy Father, the English-speaking visitors and pilgrims present today wish to express to you their sentiments of respect and esteem and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. His Holiness will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he extends in a particular way to the members of your families at home. He also intends to bless religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children, the elderly, and to those who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's catechesis at the beginning of the audience. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis on discernment, we now consider what the spiritual masters call desolation, those moments when we experience interior darkness, unrest, and distance from God and from the consolations of faith. For our spiritual growth, it is important to confront those dark nights of the soul and to discern what the Lord wishes to tell us through them. At times, desolation can be a summons to acknowledge our sinfulness and to embrace God's offer of love and forgiveness. St. Thomas says that our souls, like our bodies, can experience a kind of pain that makes us aware of threats to our spiritual health. At other times, the experience of desolation can be a temptation to grow slack in prayer and in the discipline of the Christian life. Here, too, the great spiritual teachers urge us not to yield to this temptation, but to persevere, confident that by this testing, the Lord will guide us to a fuller understanding of his gracious plan for our lives and a deeper union with him in faith, hope, and love. In the church of St. George in the town of Hamoud in Karak, His Eminence Archbishop Christophorus Atalla presided over a divine liturgy during which Father Marcus Merji was handed over his duties as patron of Hamoud Church. His Eminence recommended the priest Marcus to complete the liturgical services and take care of the parishioners there, especially in these circumstances during which the citizens face many financial, psychological and social difficulties. His Excellency was assisted in the service by a number of priests and deacons in the presence of the parishioners in the area. Archbishop Christophorus also presided over a divine liturgy in the Church of the Holy Spirit in Ajlun, during which Archmand Wright Silwan Hanuna was handed over his duties as spiritual head of Ajlun Governorate. In the homily, His Eminence asked the new spiritual leader to take care of the parish with the priests and also work with the shrine of the Prophet Elijah, the schools, the youth, and all the committees. He was assisted in the service by a number of priests and deacons in the presence of the parishioners in Ajlun. The responsibilities of Archman Jait Silwan includes the Church of Anjara and Khirbet al Wahadne in addition to the Church of Ajlun. The Federation of Monastic Orders in Jordan held its first meeting for this year under the title The Embodiment of Monastic Life in the Local Church at Terra Santa College in Amman. After the head of the union, Sister Sara Ghneem welcomed the participants from the present monastic associations, Father Rashid Mistrih gave a lecture on how to embody monastic life in the local church, calling for the need for a permanent renewal in the monastic life so that we can embody the word of the Lord in our daily reality. Then Dr. Elena Haddad gave a lecture on psychological obstacles to pastoral humanitarian work, 
followed by Father Manuel Badr, who gave an introduction to his book, in which he collected his sermons during his priestly work. The meeting was concluded with a celebration of the mystery of the Divine Liturgy, which was presided over by Father Mistrih, who stressed in his homily the importance of living with Christ, who is present among us at all times. The Latin Virgin of Nazareth Church in Swafiya Amman celebrated the First Communion for a number of sons and daughters of the Franciscan Sister Schools. During the festive Mass presided over by Father Hanna Kildani, pastor of the church, in the presence of the families and the crowd of parishioners. In his homily, Father Kildani spoke to the celebrants about the importance of the sacrament in their lives and encouraging them to pray. At the end of the liturgy, certificates were distributed to the recipients and celebrated with their families. The Ministry of Higher Education issued a decision appointing Engineer Azam Ni'mi Shwehat as Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the American University in Madaba. On this occasion, Nursat TV, represented by the Regional Director in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, Dr. Basim Al-Sam'an and the team, extends their warmest congratulations and blessings to Engineer Shwehat, praying to the Almighty God to grant him success in the service of science and virtue in creating path for future generations. Dear, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. The Federation of Monastic Orders in Jordan holds its first meeting at Teresanta College. Father Marcos Merji, new patron of Hamoud Church. Archman Dried Silwan Hanuna, new spiritual head of Ajlun Governorate. Engineer Azam Ni'ma Shwehat as chairman of the Board of Trustees of the American University in Madaba. For more information, please visit our website www.nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.